All of the older kids, come on over here. Okay, so everybody needs boots. We're gonna pick the flowers and the leaves for three plants today. And we're gonna pick these plants for a salve. And a salve is, is like a, a medicine that you put on your skin for cuts or bruises. So the first plant is yarrow. Next one is, what's this purple flower? Geranium. Wild geranium. Okay, and we've got one more. Bye. Fireweed. So those are the three plants we're gonna pick. So fireweed, yarrow, and wild geranium. In the Western, also known as Atkin dialect, Awunangam Tunu, Chikayasik, Samtmikadach, Chunusik. One of the rules is always identify the plant properly. Have an elder or somebody that's trained to identify the plants with you so that you can learn how to do it properly. So who wants to be holders of bags? Pay attention to where you're stepping now. And one of the plant principles is you never pick more than one quarter of the plants that are there. Leave some for other people, for the animals, and for the plant to propagate itself. Multiply? Multiply, exactly. Multiply. Also, when you're picking plants, you either cut it or you, you rip it at the base. With any plant, you be respectful, so you're asking permission to pick the plant. So always give thanks to the plant for giving you its medicine. Thank you. So uh, I think we did pretty good. Can I see how much you have in your bag? Great job. So tomorrow we're gonna make salve out of these plants. We're gonna store them tonight and we're gonna let them wilt a little bit so they release some moisture and then we're gonna make a salve, okay? And what are some of the principles we learned? To pick no more than a quarter, don't harvest the whole plant. Be respectful to thank the plant and wash your hands before you harvest the plants. Let's review the plants that we gathered yesterday. So this is fireweed, right? In Unangam Tunu Chikayasek. Traditionally, this plant was used in ceremony for people who've had trauma in their lives. So this is a really important plant. When there's a fire, fireweed comes in and it heals the earth. And so at the same way, it heals your skin. And it's really good for the stomach as well, right? When you take it as a tea. This is wild geranium. In Unangam Tunu Chunusek. The whole plant is edible, and same with the fireweed, but the flowers are especially delicious. And when there's a wound, it'll help dry the wound out so it can heal. Want to grab me a yarrow? And what's this one again? Yarrow. In unangam tunu And what's yarrow good for? You take it and you can crush it up. Crush it up. On a wound, if it's bleeding, right? And it'll stop bleeding. Bloody nose? You get a bloody nose, right? Exactly, you can put it up your nose and it'll help stop bleeding. Yeah. What about if you got a bug bite? Yes. It's good for a bug bite. It'll help get keep the itch out. So what we're gonna do now is with good intention, we're gonna take the, the leaves and the flowers off. So we take everything but the stalk. We're gonna end up just with leaves and flowers. There we go. You got a system down. I'm gonna talk you through the salve making process and it's really great stuff. I think one of our elders has tried it before and Teresa approves, she says it's good salve. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna warm eight ounces of olive oil to one ounce of beeswax. Since I have two, four, six, eight quarts, I need two pounds of beeswax. Emma, do you wanna pour that? And then we're gonna put the plants in, in a double boiler, so that the properties of the plant go into the oil. So basically, you just wanna get it to where the, the water is hot. And so this is gonna um, simmer now for probably about an hour. Who wants to volunteer to help stir? And then you start to see the plants will start to turn slightly brown. And they're pretty much ready. And so once the olive oil is ready and we've taken the plants out and the medicine is in the oil, then we're going to warm the beeswax up. And so beeswax helps make the salve solid. So this is a natural product too. This is medicine from bees. Then we add the beeswax to the oil and it, it starts to get thick. So as you can see with this, 
a funnel. This also has one final step, just in case I missed some plants. So this will be one final step. So I added a drop of two, two essential oils, lavender and a drop of tea tree oil, just to help preserve the salve. When you try the salve, try it on a little bit of the inner part of your arm. Some people react to some of the plants depending upon allergies, so make sure that you're not allergic before you use it. The salve's good probably up to two years. Of course, it'll probably get used before then, but um, the salve is, is definitely gonna be good for a while. Those are hanglaris that we hear. Oh, hanglaris. Raven, the ravens, yeah. Okay, here. This is uh, used for if somebody has a cut, pick them like this and then bend it and rub it between my fingers like this. And look, it gets moist. I feel it on my fingers, the moist. Then put it on the cut to help clot the blood. Yeah, what it does is constrict the blood vessels and stop the bleeding. This is the same thing, but it has that flower. You could boil it and drink it for sore throat. It's a medicine. Mm -hmm. For sore throat, yeah. My very first experience with using these, my mom put it right in her nostrils. 15, 20 minutes later, she took them out and cleaned her nose with tissue and she was fine, <sighs> yeah. My mom was a nurse's aide. She started off by working in the army base hospital. It was right after World War II. She was 18. Yeah, I wanted to be something like that, helping others. So I ended up being healthy. Your mom was my helper. She taught me. Uh huh. I ended up being a health aide for 27 years. Yeah. <laughs> Tanner Aglisada Tum and Tanner Aglisachten.